We are under the bright lights tonight as MLB Network welcomes you to this presentation of Major League Baseball. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the New York Mets and the Colorado Rockies. It's baseball on MLB Network, and it's coming up next. Herman Marquez will be on the mound for the Rocks. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Marquez might have the best stuff in this rotation right now. Big fastball, and I mean big. 95 to 100 miles an hour with movement. Good hard breaking ball. One of the best kept secrets in the game. If he's throwing strikes, could be a long night for those guys swinging the bats. And here's the former first round draft choice, Brandon Nimmo. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. And this will miss as well. So he's in danger of losing the leadoff man here tonight. It's three and one now. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. A cool 47 degrees tonight at first pitch. And he lays off ball four and the leadoff man is on to begin the ball game. I know one thing he earned that free pass right there. He was tempted with some really good pitches but he stayed disciplined and drew the walk. Standing in Michael Conforto previous history with Herman Marquez not great. He's one for eight. He's also gone down on strikes five times. Ground ball sent back up the middle. McMahon fields it cleanly. There's one. So a runner at first with one man gone. And into bat next will be J.D. Davis. One one. It's a fastball that misses. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Patrick Johnson. You know, D-Roll, Patty Johnson, you know, decent strike zone, but isn't always super consistent. I think that's one of the things that irritates players going, and pitchers. Going, yeah, you're going to see a few glares, not only from the offensive guys, but maybe the guy on the mound as well. He needs to be a little bit more consistent. Wow, that's surprising right there. Hit and run, tactic used to perfection. Balls hit to the outfield. The batter does his job. I don't know how that runner's standing on second still. You tip your hat to the outfield to get it in super quick, but he's got to take the chance to get the third. Into the box, Dominic Smith. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. The 2-2. Two -two. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Waiting on deck here is Robinson Cano. Conforto on second. Davis is over at first with one away. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. And foul. Payoff pitch one more time. On the ground to second base. This could be two. The second for one. On to Murphy. It's a double play, and that ends the inning. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. And now the Rockies will go on offense for the first time. No score. Jacob deGrom, a right-hander from Florida, gets the ball as the starter here. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Jacob deGrom is just a solid pitcher. He's not overpowering in any sense with any of his three pitches. Good sinking fastball, 93 to 96. Great slider and a really good changeup. What makes him so good? He'll throw all three of his pitches at any time. Now batting, Rymel Tapia. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And he takes ball four. So the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless ball game. Batting second, the shortstop, Trevor 
And that brings in the power hitting shortstop Trevor Story. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. A runner at first with no outs here. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. I think he had his mind made up. He was swinging the bat and trying to protect before the ball even left the pitcher's hand. That pitch wasn't even close. He would have needed a flagpole to hit that one. Standing in now, Charlie Blackman. In there, now the throw. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. Good steal of second there, and that really sets up the middle of this order to drive in a run and break this scoreless ball game. Always great if you can score first early in the game. Working for the punch out and the offering. One out and a runner on second base. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Nimmo is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Batting four. The third baseman. Nolan. Arenado. Coming to the plate now, Nolan Arenado. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. The 1-1. Well below the knees laid off on the changeup there. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball. Have to be sitting on one right here. And here's a pitch swung on and grounded toward Rosario at short. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. An inning in the books tonight still scoreless here on MLB Network. Striding in Robinson Cano. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Lifted down the line and left. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. The one two. He pulls this one into right. Blackman is there and he makes the catch for the out. That is fifth. The first baseman. He. Alonzo. At the plate, Pete Alonzo. No score here as we play inning number two. Now a swing and a miss. He struck him out. And it's two up, two down to start the second. Boy, there's nothing better from a pitcher standpoint than watching that high fastball. A high piece of cheese swung at and missed. That pitch looks so inviting to hit, but it's awfully tough to put in play. In now, Robinson Chirinos. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Fouled off. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Throws him for strike three, and that retires the side. Down in order go the Mets. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score.
Last half of the second set to go. And up next, postseason record holder Daniel Murphy. A one one on its way to Murphy. Two and one. I got two one to count. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. Around first is Murphy taking the turn for second now. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Let's take another look at just a textbook swing right there. Good weight transfer, good hands to the ball, solid contact, and great extension through the ball. Yeah, that's about as pretty as a swing gets. Nice look at it there from our camera guys as well. Ready now, Kevin Pillar. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Two and one, the count of Pillar. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. Well, it's a pretty well-known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters counts, and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter. Not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher. And a good throw gets him one gun. Batting set, the second baseman, Ryan McMahon. So a definite RBI spot here. Runner at third, one away. And Ryan McMahon digs into bat next. Bottom of the second here with no score. Just hung in there on that one. Strike three called, and now he's one out away from getting out of this. Well, their chances of pushing across a run took a pretty good hit after that strikeout. It's so much tougher to score a guy from third with two outs instead of one. Basically, you need a hit, or you need to get lucky with a wild pitch or a pass ball. Into the box now, Tony Walters. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Smith is there and he puts this one away for the third out so a great job there of working out a potential trouble Rocky strand one will move to the third with no score top of the third set to get underway and next will be the speed threat Ahmed Rosario now the one and one pitch Nope. Oh, that's off the plate. You can bet they love ball four here. That gives the pitcher on deck an obvious bunt situation to move the runner into scoring position. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin inning number three. Well, in a scoreless game, you want to do that anything you can to jumpstart your offense. With the speed of this guy on first, don't be surprised if he gets the green light here. The pitcher, Jacob deGrom, steps up to the plate in a sacrifice situation. So let's see if that is indeed on right here. Soft liner towards short. Well, this is pulled in by the shortstop. Now batter. The now at the plate, Brandon Nimmo. Brandon. He drew a walk his first time up. Third inning, no score to this point. Can't catch the corner away with the fastball. It's two and one. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. 
The 2 1. Rosario makes a move from first. Strike called. Now the throw down. It skips in and he's safe. Close play, but he's in there. Well, that stolen base was about as bang bang as they come. And his show track demonstrates to us right here it was his top speed that really made all the difference. He's definitely got wheels, and they were on display there. The 2 2. Hit out towards second. McMahon gathers it in, and that's the second out. Digging in, Michael Conforto, 0 for 1 here in the early going. The 2 2 pitch. That's lifted the other way out to left. Giving chase is Tapia. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Met strand one. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Striding in for the Rockies, Herman Marquez, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Fouled away. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. The batter. In now for Colorado, Rymel Tapia. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. And a slider runs in on him as he has to lean out of the way. This will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. That pitch was way down on two and two, but give the hitter some credit there. Sometimes with two strikes, you're more off to expand the strike zone, but he didn't and held off on that one that wasn't even close. So a runner on first with one out now, and in to hit next, shortstop Trevor Story. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Wow, that's awfully impressive right there. The pitch before was really close. Called the ball. What does he do? He comes back with a better pitch and gets the punch out. Late now, Charlie Blackman. One ball and two strikes to count. Softly hit out to short. And he'll go the short way to retire the side. One left for Colorado. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. set for the start of the inning and into bed next will be J.D. Davis this game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score you'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in but that hasn't been the case count still at one and two here's the pitch that misses and we're even at two and two well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? Oh, you have to love it. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low-scoring pitcher's duel for once. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's 3 and 2 now. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on 2 and 2, but 
There's a swing and a drive, and everybody's just going to sit back and watch that one fly. A no doubt home run. So it's a solo shot to dead center, and the Mets are on the board first, one to nothing. What a blast that was. So here it is again, accompanied by Show Track. Great exit velocity, and the projected distance comes back at over 470 feet. An impressive thing to watch when it happened, and even more impressive to quantify with the numbers. At the plate, Dominic Smith. One and two to Dominic Smith. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. On to first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. The batter, number 24. So the base is empty here with one away, and that'll bring up Robinson Cano. One run, two hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Rounded back up the middle. A dive, but he can't get a glove on it. It's through for a base hit. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes, even when you make a good pitch, the ball is going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. Stepping in now, Pete Alonso. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. Uh, got him on the good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on. And when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Standing in now, Robinson Chirinos. Ball three here as that pitch runs way up and in and backs him out of the box here. No reason to sit on anything other than hard stuff in a location you like and drive it right now. The three and one pitch is swung on and missed, and that's a full count now. Three balls and two strikes. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. And this will find the wall out near the visitors' bullpen. The runner from first crosses the plate. It's a 2 0 ball game. The battle, number one. So now time will be called as we're going to get a visit from the pitching coach here as he'll hope to settle his guy down. To the plate now, Ahmed Rosario. One and two as he chases the slider. To two balls and two strikes now. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. To the bottom of inning number four we go. It's the Mets two, and the Rockies nothing. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Nolan Arenado. One one. 
misses for the second ball. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here, capitalize on the momentum his batters have. Now the 2 1 pitch. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. I'll tell you, he looks really dialed in on the bump right there. He's got a shutout going, and he really seems to have this lineup off balance. Even when he challenges them up in the zone, they don't have an answer for it. In now, Daniel Murphy. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Giving chase is Nimmo. He gets there, and that's the second out. Now batting, Stepping into the box, Kevin Pillar. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. The 2 2. Popped him up. And he will indeed make the play in foul territory to retire the side. Nothing across here this half of the inning. On to the top of inning number five we go. The Mets are out on top, two to nothing. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And that'll bring up the converted shortstop from his days at Stetson University, Jacob deGrom. And the 2-1. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Blackman's after it. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. The center fielder, number nine. So here's Brandon Nimmo. Brandon. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And a knuckle curve missed that time, 2 and 1. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Legs churning. He's headed for second. And he's not stopping. He wants three. The relay. But he is in there with a triple. The second this thing got past the outfielder, you knew it was at least a double, possibly a triple. But he turns on the afterburners and is safely into third. Michael Conforto outside two and one a couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen now the two one pitch is looked at for ball three they know the threat this guy possesses at the plate. I know it's 3 1 in this situation right here, but I can't imagine anything comes over the heart of the plate. Two runs, five hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. And he misses with one here. It's ball four. So that'll at least bring the double play into the conversation with runners at the corners and one away. Almost looks semi intentional there. The bad news is that there are two men on base. The good news is that an inning ending double play is now in order. Ready once again, J.D. Davis is coming off a solo homer in his previous trip. The last at bat, Matty B, we heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. A 1-1. Taken, strike two. Big pitch coming up right here. He'd love for a ground ball or a strikeout.
Runners are at first and third, one away. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And nearly a three-run shot. Instead, it's a foul ball. Ground ball right side. And that's by him into right field for a base hit. And that'll bring home run number three. It's now a three-nothing cushion. Here comes manager Bud Black out of the dugout heading for the mound. And it looks as though that's going to be all for his starter here tonight. So he'll make his way to the dugout after working just four and a third, and he just didn't have his best stuff in this one. Jose Mujica takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. Jose Mujica. So now to the plate, Dominic Smith. And that's high and off the plate, two and one. Looked like he was a little over aggressive there to throw that nasty curveball. Just needs to slow his delivery down a bit. Runners are at first and second with one away. Hit out towards second. McMahon's got it. One there on the first. And talk about doing the job out of the bullpen. One batter, two outs, and the inning is over. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Welcome back to Coors Field in Denver as we check in with Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Rockies skipper Bud Black between innings, specifically about his club's offensive output to this point. And he really emphasized that they're not doing a very good job capitalizing on run scoring opportunities. They've had their opportunities with runners in scoring position, but still have zero hits to show for it in those situations. He said repeatedly not coming through with the big hit can wear on you as a team, but in this sport, you have to dwell on the positives. He's confident they'll find a way to break through sooner or later. All right, thanks, Heidi. And it's fouled away. Again, he sends it out of play. Another try at 2-2. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Looked to me like he had the right idea with the swing on that pitch. And he just didn't get the bat through the zone in time. The pitch was away. He let it get deep, maybe trying to take it the other way. But it got too deep and was by him by the time his barrel could get in the correct position. At the plate, Tony Walters. Oh, and he took something off of it there. It's one and two. Hey, this guy's got an 89-mile-an-hour changeup. There was a time when 89 was a pretty good fastball. Two and two to the Colorado catcher. That hook stayed up in the zone. You can see he struggled with that curveball early. He's trying to find that release point with his off-speed pitches. Love we'll to see if he can find the feel for that thing moving forward. The 2-2. Two -two. Gets him looking at the knees for the strikeout. Josh Fuentes will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. And look out. He has to back away there and then give a little glare out to the mound. It's ball two. Well, that'll wake everyone up. Anytime you buzz the tower like that, there's reason for people to stop. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Three up, three down for Colorado. Still down, three nothing. Back now for the start of the sixth inning, and we send it down to Heidi Watney. 
Matt, during the break, I caught up with the Mets manager to discuss his thoughts on his club's offense so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. He said that although they haven't broken through in a big way in the runs column, they have made the opposing pitching work really hard for just about every out. Their starter's pitch count was pretty high, which resulted in him being removed from the game prior to the sixth inning. Now it's a matter of making their bullpen work just as hard, guys. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Jeff Hoffman takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Top half of the sixth about to get started and set to stand in the fine second baseman Robinson Cano. Inside corner called a strike one and two. Hoffman features one of the biggest yackers in the game. Curveball's got a ton of movement. Down the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Now here it comes. I know he buried that slider in right there, but that's a dangerous pitch. If he doesn't pot commit and bury that inside, it leaks out over the plate. He can get hurt with that pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Pilar's there. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Now that. Settling in now, Pete Alonso. He struck Alonso. out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. And he fouls this one off. Hey, that fastball caught too much of the plate on an 0-2 count. Another one sent foul. Bases are empty, one man out. Again, another foul ball. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. It's been a rough night at the yard for him. That's three times now he's back. gone down on strikes That's in this one. Through. So they've really mm -hmm. figured out how to attack this guy. At the plate now, Robinson Chirinos. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Off speed pitch misses here and he runs it to three and one. Now a fastball swung on and missed and it's full three and two. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Fouled off. Payoff pitch one more time. And another foul ball. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. It's a grinder, AB. 3 2 change up, and he's able to stay back and drive it for a base hit. Sometimes you just got to tip your hat. Stepping in now, Ahmed Rosario. Frozen on the fastball, never had a chance, and the inning is over. Danger averted following the two-out double. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this.
bottom of the inning now. And striding into the plate next will be Rymel Tapia. Sent on the ground out to second. There's Cano, and he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. Now batting. Digging in now, Trevor Story. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. One out, nobody on. Now a change up, but it misses just a little below the zone. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying to get ahead and put himself in a good hitter's count. And it's two balls and two strikes two now. Two strikes. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. Right guy, right spot. This is one of the better hitters in their lineup. Just the guy they want to see coming up now to get this inning going. Swing, and there it goes. Deep to left field. Over the bleachers and onto the concourse. A home run. A solo home run here off the bat of Trevor Story. And the Rocks are on the board. It's now a 3 to 1 game. Well, I'm excited to check the home run numbers that come out on show track because that was just one of the most impressive launches we've seen in a good while. And as the numbers come in, that ball was projected to have carried over 460 feet. An amazing show of strength. Standing in now, Charlie Blackman. That's a ball. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. Struck him out, and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. Now that. And that'll bring in Nolan Arenado. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Scorched to third. Davis grabs it cleanly. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Some more of the colorful characters here at the ballpark tonight. More baseball on the show right after this. Jairo Diaz is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 37, Jairo Diaz. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring up the pitcher, Jacob deGrom. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. A shot down the first baseline, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Here's the pitch. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. Into the box, Brandon Nimmo. Pulled toward right center field. On the move is Pilar. 
He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. Well, that was certainly a tough play and worth taking another look with Showtrack. Seemed to get a pretty good read off the bat, carved out a nice route, and ended up covering over 110 feet to make the play. I'm sure he's happy with himself about that one. Stepping into the box, Michael Conforto. It was a walk in his last trip. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing. Three to one our score. And he popped him up. Arenado into shallow left. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Mets go down one, two, three, as the lead remains three to one. Last half of the seventh here, and up next, postseason record holder Daniel Murphy. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Action in the Mets' bullpen now. It's both a lefty and a right-hander that start to throw. Fouled away. The 2 2. Yeah, well, down two. You better believe they gladly take a leadoff walk right here. Anything to get a base runner on and get that tied run to the plate. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And it's fouled away. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Hey, this is a heck of a battle right here. Long A-B. You know what? They find themselves still facing the starter. If they would have had some A-Bs like this earlier in the game, I, I, I think they get into the bullpen by this time. And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. When you're this deep into a start, it can be really exhausting and annoying when a hitter makes you work as hard as he did right there. He got the strikeout. That's great, but he's probably thinking, get that guy out of here. In now, Kevin Pillar. High in the air. And this is taken in for the second out. The batter now, 24. Here's second Ryan McMahon, McMahon now. Ryan. He's hoping to avoid the hat trick. He struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. Two out, nobody on. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. And that's into the corner, a foul ball in right. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Rockies. And it remains a 3-1 ball game. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Yancy Almonte will come on now and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Garrett Hampson is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. Ready to begin the eighth and into bed next will be J.D. Davis. The one two weak grounder down the line at third. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Here it comes. 
And here's a slider strike three called and that'll be the first out of the inning. That's what you call clipping the outside corner. Great movement on now that slider and it completely field. locked up the hitter. Dominate. Didn't fool the umpire though. So now to the plate Dominic Smith lays off the slider that time two and one Almonte a 25 year old he was a 17th round pick during the first year player draft of 2012. Hey this guy's got a chance to be an absolute steal being drafted where he was there are definite signs that he has a chance to make an impact at the big league level. Now the two one hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. Pilar's there. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. So two are gone in the Mets' half of the eighth, and that'll bring up Robinson Cano. Bases are empty here with two men out. Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball two and one. Now a right-hander has started to get loose in the Colorado bullpen. The two one home hard on the ground towards short and that's in for a base hit. He's two for four now. Hey, they weren't going to keep this guy down for long. That's the ebbs and flows of a baseball season. Bottom line is this guy has bat to ball skills. You knew he was going to get hot eventually. To the plate now, Pete Alonso. And he fouls this one off. Eighth inning of this low scoring affair. Three to one our score. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. The 2 2 one more time. I got three and two. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Seared down the first baseline, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Mets leave one and it's still three to one. You're Justin Wilson is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 38. Justin Wilson. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And that brings up the catcher, Tony Walters. Swing and a line drive. Foul. Wilson has seen his role change with those one batter lefty specialists going the way of the dodo as a part of MLB's pace of play initiatives. One and two pitch. Line to the right side. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. He's around second now, and they still haven't gotten to this thing. And the Rockies kick it into high gear to open the inning. It's a leadoff triple. Now, every coach will tell you when you're down by two, you don't want to take too many chances on the base pass. Regardless, he hustles into third for the triple, and the tying run is coming to the plate. And that'll bring in Garrett Hampson. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. Doesn't want any part of that cutter, and it's full three and two. And he takes ball four, so he's on. And as you know, that often means the steal could be in order here. Now, back, left fielder. Long ball. 
Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Rimal Tapia, and their runners at the corners now. Runners are at first and third with none out. Full count now, three and two. Boy, the Rockies have been looking for that big hit all game long. They haven't been able to come through so far, but now would be the time to come through. Line towards center field. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. But not in time as the run scores and the lead is trimmed to one. Well, that wasn't your standard sack now, by hit. It was hit pretty low and hard, so it wasn't a given they were going to send it. But they did, and they add a number to the run column. So striding in, Trevor Story. It was a solo shot for him in his last at-bat. Yeah, man, this guy flexed his muscles in that last at-bat. We heard that he has good power. That last bomb had to go well over 400 feet. He hit it a long way. Alonzo shading to his right. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Up next for Colorado. So digging in now, Charlie Blackman. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Two and one. A runner on first with two away. Lifted down the line in left. In comes the left fielder. And they can't run it down. Quick check on that tying run at first. A dive, but he's back. He pulls this one into right. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Up next to Colorado, the third baseman, Nolan. Miguel Castro enters here looking to get the final now out before the ninth three. inning. Now pitching for the men, number 50, Miguel Castro. Sam Hilliard will be summoned now to be the pinch runner. Number 22, Sam Hilliard. Here's Nolan Arenado. Been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. off the end of the bat foul and he might have been fortunate to stay alive that time fouled off trying to hold the lead here's the delivery this is exactly the reason why this guy has been so successful and has played this game so long, scrambling pitch after pitch, making this guy work out on the mound. This one misses, and that'll fill the count here. Three and two with two away. Well, no doubt in my mind, this has been the at-bat of the night so far. hit toward the hole and there's a base hit as that gets through into left the tying run is in to score from second you know Dero in today's game it's not easy scoring in the late inning. so that RBI base hit to tie things up that comes at a really good time yeah I say it's not easy they got 11 guys in the bullpen I don't think a guy throws under 97 miles an hour with sink and cut that is unbelievable he's able to get that knock in that big spot at the plate, Daniel Murphy. 
That's a foul ball off to the left, and it moves to one and two. To two balls and two strikes now. Fouled away. Swung on, and this ball is hammered. Forget about it. Out of here, into the visitor's bullpen. So a three-run shot to right center field as they jump ahead by three. Sure, you know it's coming after that bomb. That's right. Let's check it out on show track. And as the numbers come in, we see it was projected at over 450 feet. An incredible home run to watch. At the plate now, Kevin Pilar. Outside in a full count, three and two. Looked to me like he tried to do way too much on that 2-2 pitch. You don't have to come into the zone on that count, but a pitch that far outside isn't going to tempt anyone to swing. Now the three and two pitch. Here's another one that's drilled. This one to left. And that is off the wall. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Man, I thought for sure we were going to see back-to-back -back jacks right there. Well, when you serve up pitches like that, Natty, you know these hitters are going to put some good swings on them. And that's what happens here as he blasts this thing. The last two hitters have really set the stage. Yeah, so now we'll see if the next guy can keep this train rolling. Jason Shree enters here looking to get the final out before the ninth inning. Number 47, Jason Shree. Matt Kemp will look to provide a little two-out thunder off the bench as he'll hit with a runner at second and two away. And he misses ball four, so he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. The catcher number 14, Tony. Digging in once again, Tony Walters tripled and scored in his last at-bat, and we'll see what he does for a follow-up act here. The 2-1 home. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. Two men are on with two men out. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. I don't think he can afford another base runner here, so whatever pitch he feels best about, Whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. He's set. Here's the three and two. And a check swing here, but he holds up far too late as it's strike three, and the inning is over. But not before five cross the plate, with the big blow being this three-run home run. Last chance coming up here for the Metropolitans. It's the Rockies six and the Mets three. Sam Hilliard will stay in the game, taking over in right and batting number nine. Now playing right here, number 22. Sam Carlos Estevez comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth. Number 54, Carlos Estevez. All set to start the ninth in this one, and that'll bring in the veteran catcher, Robinson Chirinos. They look like they're up against it here, down three on the road, trying to come back against a closer. 
high in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. You know, you don't always have to straight challenge a guy on a 3-2 count. With the three-run lead, no one on base, this is the perfect situation to do it. No reason to nibble and possibly set up a big inning. Another payoff pitch. And this pitch misses here. It's ball four, and they've got a leadoff base runner aboard to start the ninth. The bat, number one. Shortstop, Ahmed. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ahmed Rosario. He was sent packing on strikes in his last trip. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. And this is knocked down on the mound. Safe. Not able to quite recover in time on the throw to second, but it looks like he's doing okay out there. I'm not here to make excuses, but it is cold tonight, and it looks a little damp out there, too. The ball might have just slipped out of his hands on that one. Jeff McNeil will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number six. Tight with the slider two and two. First and second here with nobody out. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Pilar's there. One out. Ready for another shot now. Brandon Nimmo. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Set. Here's the 3 1. Sliced hard, but foul to the left. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Tapia is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. At the plate, Michael Conforto. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Here's the 1-1. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Hey, time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. Two on, two out with the base open here as a pitcher. You have to be awful careful. You just don't want to groove something here and give this guy a pitch and he can hit one out of the park on. And this will be a called strike two. And trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. Down the left field line and deep. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Ah, and he strikes him out to end it here as they were able to get the possible tying run to the plate but could not cash in. Yeah, and the home crowd is loving it as they jumped out in front in the bottom of the eighth and they did what they had to do in the ninth to seal the deal. And tonight's comes to an end. Six to three, the final. The Colorado Rockies came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Yency Almonte gets the W on the mound. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners, Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. This has been a special presentation of MLB Network. Good night, everybody. The final line score for our ballgame tonight for the victorious Rockies.
Six runs, seven hits, one error. They left five men on base. For the men, three runs on eight hits, no errors. They left ten men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 12 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely.